Step one, put the ante in the oven for 90 seconds or until you see the pound melt. As you can see here, 90 seconds wasn't quite, so after inspecting the top, I'll be using my laser to finish up the customization of this one. Here's a bonus tip for those of you that actually are lasering your cup. Particularly heavy, I use a magic eraser. Ah, he loves me some man crafting while I'm turning. Okay, so I've just turned this sycamore log into uh, a cylinder and I am now putting my tenon on the end ready for turning it around and put it into the chuck. Uh, just determine where I want to put the claws of this goblet. Some basic shapety shapety of the uh, wood. It's just to get a rough idea of where I want to go carving. Hollow it out, choose a force and a bit, and using the crown hollower, it's a 10mm hollower, let's clean out all standard stuff at the moment. And my force and a bit doesn't go very deep, so I have to clean out with the tool and then go back with the force and a bit. Hoover de Hoover. And then I am using a cardboard cutout, uh, which is a rough shape of the um, the mug that's going to be going into the into the top of this when it's finished. Sketchy sketchy. Draw out the uh, the basic shape of the dragon hand I suppose and uh, go loopity loo with the cutty cut so this is just a cheap rotary tool with a flexi drive on it and I use various um, carving bits in it to, to get the shape that I need And that's my own man crafting mug that Chad made me. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm marking out, um, I'm off centering the dragon's wrist and I want to make it look as if it's kind of burst out through the goblet and is holding the cup of the goblet. So I've got to give the effect that the wrist has come out of the stem of the goblet. And use the chop saw just to take away the bulk of the wood, save some carving. So now it's just basic shaping of the handy hand. Okay, a bit of cleaning up hand sanding and then uh, kind of the finer details with a knife while listening to uh, the Makers International podcast. So it's back onto the lathe and this is the final bit of turn in for the piece um, and what I'm doing now is I'm kind of blending in what will be the stem of the goblet to match up with the wrist that I've turned and um, then bring the stem down to the base and I want it all to kind of blend in. There's still a bit more carving to do as you'll see um, but this is the final turn in stage.
There you go. As you can see there, I've just brought the stem to where the wrist is. And parting off. And it's back to the final carving session. Right, so the plan here is to carve the stem away. As you can see there, you can just start seeing the hand appearing out of the stem and clean out all around the top of the stem. So it looks like the bottom of the cup has been broken away and the hand has burst out through the stem and is then holding what was the original cup of the goblet. That, that's kind of where I was aiming and now it's just a matter of painting it up the same colours just to match the cup that Chad kindly sent me. This was tricky getting the, the stain in there without getting it on the hand. Alright, now I'm using uh, the metal reactive paints. Uh, this is, I believe this was the iron that I used. So it's paint that is made up of iron filings and uh, you, you paint it all over your piece and then you add an acid which is coming up in just a second it's like a green solution which is an acid and that um, reacts that's the acid there uh, you brush the acid onto the paints and it causes it to uh, patina uh, as if it's left out in the weather and it just uh, speeds up the the corrosion process and you'll see now as uh, as it starts to change colors there you go so it's kind of going a rusty color I added a bit of copper as well and then added the acid again and that's what's giving it kind of the green effect and then now I'm just um, just adding in a few accents and things of color and just a few details giving it like a veiny look just different colors, uh, wiping it in there, you know, kind of just add in color as I go. And what all the time I was doing this, it was also getting darker and darker and changing color with the acids. It continues to uh, deteriorate. And then the man crafting mug. Chad did a really cool design of a, a dragon's head onto the side of the mug, as you can see. And I think it all works really well together. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Chad from Minecrafting, for collaborating with me on this. And I'll see you soon.